besides making hitting hard with John Trucker your first listen, make sure you make Locked On Sports today your second listen. Biggest stories of the day, instant reactions, big game recaps, and the take of the day available. Odyssey, Spotify, YouTube, wherever you get all of your podcasts from. So one NBA writer, and this is from Bill Ryder, who put this article out earlier this morning, says that, and this is the title of his article, okay? The Atlanta Hawks have a Trey Young problem. Quinn Snyder is there to fix it one way or the other. And they get into the idea of, and and they talk to, and, and this is always my issue with these things, but they talk to NBA executives and an NBA GM off the record, right? They just say NBA GM said, NBA executive said, and all these kinds of things. That That's my problem. I mean, if you're going to talk to these guys, I mean, I know that you can't source it. I know, I know that you can't. I know that you can't say that, you know, the whatever. I, let's just pick a random team. The Memphis Grizzlies general manager told me that, you know, they have a Trey Young problem, right? But if, you know, it's also a little bit disingenuous to just use the quotes in the article. But they they speculate about the idea about why did Quinn Snyder take the job now? One NBA executive or one general manager said, quote, the money – why not? Um, love of the game. Um, you know, there were guys that were given different reasons as to why. But I found this the most interesting part of the article. And I don't know how much this jives. I don't know how I don't I don't know how much that this is accurate. Um, because one NBA executive said, um, or I should say one NBA GM said that. This was all about Kyle Korver and his relationship and kind of schmoozing over the wrestler family that it was it was not about it was not about Landry Fields. And excuse me here as I'm trying to trying to get um, um, trying to get here. Um, here's the here's the quote uh, from from them that Kyle Korver was the one. This is the quote from the article. Kyle Korver was the one by managing the wrestlers effectively who pushed for Snyder's hire. There are whispers that Landry Fields didn't want Snyder hired in the first place. Now, we know that certainly Kyle Korver was probably the driving force. He he knows Quinn Snyder. They have a pretty good relationship, right? I mean, you know, I, I can understand all of that. But the idea that Landry Fields wasn't on board with this, that there are whispers of that. And I don't know how much I buy, but I, I do think that Cal Corver went to the wrestler family, Tony wrestler and his son, Nick, and they definitely, and, and it was pushed on them that, Hey, this is the guy we got to have. And it all makes sense from the standpoint of, look, he was available. He could come in and cut. Look, they pulled him off a beach on vacation, right? They pay him top tier money. You know, I mean, you you throw, you know, there's an old saying about, you know, they pay you too much money to say no. That's probably the things that, you know, Quinn Snyder, you know, thought about. I mean, look, if you're if you're dragging a guy off the beach and, and he's coming in three quarters of the way through the season, certainly money's a factor. Certainly personnel decisions are a factor. There are a lot of things to this. Now, I don't agree with the theme of the article that the Hawks have a Trey Young problem. This is an opportunity for Trey Young and Quinn Snyder to get on the same page. Now, look, they certainly have to, you, your head coach and your star player has to have some kind of relationship. And, and you saw Chandler Parsons the other day, you know, he basically just said he didn't like Lloyd Pierce. And, and I understand that. And, and Lloyd Pierce was never going to be here for the long term. When Lloyd Pierce was hired, he was always a bridge coach to somebody else. And then that ended up being Nate McMillan. They go to the Eastern Conference Finals. He gets a four-year contract, and then it falls apart. But I, I don't like the way the article is phrased about the Hawks have a Trey Young problem. If Trey Young, and this is true for any superstar, Trey Young buys in with what Quinn Snyder is doing, and they have to have DeJounte Murray buy in, and they have to have John Collins buy in, and they have to have Clint Capella and DeAndre Hunter, and on and on and on and on and on. 
all of these guys have to buy in because if not, if they don't buy in, then you get to a situation where what we just had a few weeks ago, well, the message was stale. Well, we needed a new voice. Well, the message was for an older team and different things like that. Then you get to that point where the guys start to tune you out. So does Quinn Snyder and Trey Young have to have a relationship that they come together? I don't care if they go to dinners and I don't care if they do all these you know, extracurricular stuff. I'm talking about the idea of coach and star player have to come together and be on the same page philosophically for what the franchise wants to do. And if they can do that, the sky's the limit. We talked to David Locke yesterday. I talked to Andy Larson on my radio show. They all say he's one of the smartest guys you'll ever meet. He's a basketball savant. He, he's, he eats, breathes, and sleeps basketball, and he knows more than maybe just about anybody. So if they can all come together, then, I, look, the sky, again, the sky's the limit for all of this. But this idea that the, that the Hawks have a Trey Young problem, they don't have a Trey Young problem. They just have to find the right guy. And, and as I've said on my radio show, everybody is responsible for where the Hawks are at. The players are responsible. The coach was responsible. The owner was responsible. The front office is responsible. The ticket taker in section, you know, uh, taking tickets in, in, in gate two, I mean, is responsible. The beer vendors are responsible. Bob Rathburn is responsible. Everybody who's got a hand in the Hawks organization has led themselves to this. And that's why we're floundering around at 31 and 31. So I, I don't... I, I don't believe that Landry Fields and, you know, there's other quotes in the article that talk about the idea of you can't win with Trey Young or this or that. Well, I mean, they got two games away from being in the NBA finals. Seems like you can figure out a way to win with Trey Young. But, you know, there are there are always GMs with these agendas. And again, I don't like the idea of you have off the record GMs that say stuff and and things like that and talk about other franchises again if, if you're not going to quote the source if you're not going to use the source then don't put the quotes out there about what somebody said but do the hawks have a trey young problem no but do they have do they have to have their star player and their coach come together philosophically to get this franchise over the hump absolutely trey has to buy in Quinn Snyder has to buy in. And I think when they get to the end of the year, I think definitely Quinn Snyder is going to have a big voice in what's going to happen with this roster and different things like that. Don't be surprised if there aren't some changes to the front office or kind of the power play structure when all is said and done. Not right now, but look for that come the offseason. But I don't think the Hawks have a Trey Young problem, but they do have to get their star and their coach on the same page. All right, let's talk about our friends over at Built Bar. Listen, everybody's trying to get in shape right now, right? We're trying to get healthier. We're trying to exercise more, trying to get some shape, lose weight, whatever you got going on, okay? Built.com is the place to go where you're looking for your alternative and healthier snacks, whether you want traditional protein bars, whether you want the... Um, protein infused marshmallow puffs either way that you go they have all of the great flavors that you would want you know from churro to coconut and and everything in between but you're looking for that low carb low sugar low calorie snack well built bars by and large are 130 calories four grams of sugar but 17 grams of protein so you want that healthier alternative so go to built.com today pick you up a box of built bars but when you get now, you can also go the brick and mortar route where you can go to Walmart in the pharmacy section and get you a box of built bars. Or you can go to Sam's Club now and purchase a box of built bars. So, whether you go the brick and mortar route, whether you go the online route, doesn't really matter. Now you can get all your built bars in several different places. Head to built.com today, check out their wide menu and their selection of products. Try them today.